bothering me, always bothering me. What? What now? Uh, Moses has been waiting for your commandments for like over a month now. I think he's getting seriously dehydrated. Okay, okay, Jeffrey. I was giving it some thought. We don't want to rush this, right? <laughs> okay, commandment numero uno. Worship only yours truly, Daddy Big Boss Yahweh. Commandment number two. Don't worship shit that ain't me. Whoa, 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 God, hold up. Aren't commandments one and two like the same thing? Perhaps we could just combine them and free up a slot for another rule. A really good one, like, like, don't kill. Jeffrey, they're the hoes, I'm the pimp. And people needs to know who their pimp is. Commandment number three. Don't misuse my name. Uh, God, I can think of quite a few more important rules than misusing your... Jeffrey, this is important. Take, for example, uh, he who must not be named. Uh, you, you mean Voldemort? Shh. Don't say his name. See? That's the kind of power I'm talking about. Respect. I want people to be that afraid of saying my name. Those who misuse my name will not be forgiven, ever. I don't care how good they are. I'll take the thieves and the murderers into heaven before I take them. Yes, murder and thievery. Maybe we should make the next commandment about murder and... Commandment four. Take a day off. <laughs> what? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I want them to use their day off to worship me. Why am I not surprised? Commandment number five. Honor your mama and your mama's baby daddy. Okay, but what if someone's parents are abusive assholes? Commandment six. Every Tuesday shall be Taco Tuesday. Wait a minute, that's ridiculous, God. I'm putting my foot down. They should know that murder is wrong. Jeffrey, in the words of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, no shit, Sherlock. Don't you think don't kill is kind of an obvious one? They know that already. Yeah, but God, these rules show what's important to you. This is the basis for your moral code. What does it say about your priorities when have gone through five commandments already and you still have yet to say anything about murder? Uh, fine. Number six, don't kill. Happy, you little goody two-shoes? Why don't we just waste the rest on little goody two-shoe commandments? Number seven, don't fuck around on your spouse. Number eight, don't steal shit. Wait, wait, hold on a second, Cat. What if some kid is starving and he steals an orange to survive? Maybe we should elaborate. I don't believe it. You even have problems with the goody two-shoe commandments. It's almost as if you think this shit is subjective or something. Number eight, don't steal shit. I thought this was supposed to be my moral code. No exceptions, no discretion. You steal, you burn, fuck hunger. Number nine, don't lie. And number 10, don't watch shit that ain't yours. Don't covet? If you put that before stealing, then it would just cancel out the don't steal commandment, right? Besides, that's a bad one, God. You are omniscient, right? Wanting stuff that isn't yours is pretty much the basis for capitalism. Fine, Jeffrey. If you're such a hot shot, name a better commandment. Okay, well, how about thou shall not be reckless with other people's lives? Reckless? Yes! Millions of people throughout history die because of manslaughter. And how about, thou shall not commit pedophilia? Nah, the priesthood would drop by like 50%. Okay, how about, don't kidnap, don't vandalize, don't discriminate, don't pollute, don't- Jeffrey, mankind comes up with those morals all on his own. But don't you want them to see this as important to God? More important than, than take a day off? Ah, fuck it, this is my final draft. Moses, here you go. Now get the fuck out of here. I don't believe it, this. You're worshipping a golden calf? Does this mean veal is off thy menu? You know it's my favorite. And who told you people you could throw a party? Oh, look. Cranky old dude finally descendeth from the mountain. Apparently, it takes the Lord Almighty about a month and a half to chisel some stone tablets, even though he created the universe in only six days. Levites, kill these motherfuckers! But does not that commandment, written by God himself, say not to kill? 
God says, kill these motherfuckers. Um, God? <sighs> Let me guess, there's a problem. You know, you'd think that the all knowing all power of the universe would be the best thing to do. What the fuck I'm doing? What's up with that? Obviously, I'm not a people person. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Moses just broke the tablets. Oh, fuck. No, God, no, I think this is a good thing. What? Jeffrey, how could this possibly be a good thing? Don't you see? Now's our chance to make a much better set of commandments. You mean with all your ideas about not kidnapping, vandalizing, recklessness, pedophilia, discrimination, and such? Exactly. You know, Jeffrey, you're right. You've done a damn fine job, my lad. Take the day off. I'll tell Moses the new commandments myself. Really? That's nice of you. Thanks, Scott. I'll save a seat for you at Applebee's. Cool. My lord, verily I am sorry about smashing your tablets and all, but they took veal off the menu and- Hey, no worries, Moses, no worries. Don't beat yourself up over it. You are most gracious. I memorized them, and I shall chisel them anew. No, 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 no. I've got a few revisions. Oh? Tis a good thing I smashed them, then. What a coinky-dink. Okay, shoot. Number one, worship only me. But that's the same, my lord. Yeah, that's an important one, so it stays the same. Number two, don't make any metal idols. So fucking tacky. Number three, for seven days, eat bread without yeast. Okay, you, you think that's important, do you? Number four, all the firstborn males of your livestock belong to me. Um, pardon me, but what do you want with them, my lord? I don't know, burn them. I like the snap. Number five, take a day off, use it to kiss my ass. Kiss your ass. Got it. Number six, at the turn of the year, have a fucking party. But, my lord, the last commandment, number six, said not to kill. And it took you all of two minutes to break that one, didn't it, dipshit? And why did you do it? Because your people were having a fucking party. So I'm changing it just to spite you, asshole. I am sorry, my lord, truly, but it was an important commandment. Now it's thou shalt have a fucking party. Commandment number seven. Have your people come and see me three times a year. That's actually a good one, my lord. If they see you with their own eyes, how could they ever doubt you again? Commandment eight. Don't make any sacrifices containing yeast. I hate that shit. But... Uh, th well, pardon me, my lord, but then why did you create it? Good question. Commandment number nine. Bring me your fresh produce. I fucking love a good fruit salad. Bring God good eats. Got it. Commandment ten. Don't cook a baby goat in his mother's milk. What? God! What are you doing? Fellas, would you relax, please? It's not a golden calf. It's a golden calf. Soon, everyone will be sub to dark matter. <laughs> not so fast, sub whore. Oh no! It's Super Reverse Psychology Man! They better not subscribe to dark matter. They better not. <laughs> <laughs>